tonight, a 48-hour Balearic ball in Ibiza. 3.2 mil dudes drop by per an, all compelled to scan the length of this cannon. Joining me to buffer the base, <laughs> oh, wow. is the writer-performer known as Jessica Nappett. <laughs> I hope this is my last time in a wetsuit. And in a gruelling hour, Sir Stud Alex will bang on about the alternative board sport of flow riding. Look at him, loving life. Can't bear it. Until you go the full Big Wednesday. Well done, Alex. Lay down on the board. With visible enthusiasm, I board the board. One, two, three. There we go. OK. Oh, that's really good. Amazing. Now, look at me. Roll over. Why? Roll over. Why did I do that? Man. Yeah. 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 That way, that way, that way. And, and the experience has stopped. Give on there. Oh, I, I loved it. I, I absolutely loved it. It's good. It's great. The time has come for Nappet to be strafed by surf. Knees on the board, the feet into the water, OK? It's as simple as that, Jess. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Hey. OK. The cameraman exhilarated by the escalating athleticism, realises only slow-mo can capture the poetry and flips a switch. No hands and lean back. Oh, yeah. 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 Very good. Very good. <laughs> Living hell. Yeah. There's only so many times a man can slide up an angled paddling pool, and I exceed that number of times. It's been a joy. Get a room, lads. Great job. Thank you. Thank you. See you next time. Thank you. And I hope you learned Thank something you, too. Thank you, Alex. Didn't answer. Unbelievable. What a beautiful instructor. If they ever make the young Shirley Valentine. How dare you. Jessica Nappett. Inside this former military building on the outskirts of town is possibly the only room in Iceland that's hairier than Bill. It's Whoa, look at this. <laughs> that's amazing. It's, <laughs> it's absolutely <laughs> incredible. Chromo Sapiens is an art installation by Icelandic artist Shoplifter. Like a a roosting chamber for mythical beasts. <laughs> yeah. With music by cult metal band Ham. I'm not sure I'd listen to loads of it. But you can just get hold of it. Yeah. You can just hug it. <laughs> is this the happiest you've ever been? It is. I'm, so, I'm really delighted. <laughs> I'm so happy. The artist was inspired by the raw beauty and tectonic landscape of Iceland, although the words that immediately spring to mind are my little and pony. Do you want to know some facts about it? Yes, please. It's all synthetic fibres. It's basically Wayne Rooney's head. We go through to the third chamber. There's more. This is how gay people are born. I'm learning so much. As we surrender to the cave's fluffy embrace. Yeah, I like Reykjavik, you know, mate. If you're right about it being safe, I feel secure. And somehow cradled in the arms of a Nordic wizard. This erotic fantasy ends our stay in Reykjavik. It must be a nightmare to vacuum. And the first half of this tenuously festive broadcast. Well, it looks inviting anyway. It's very warm in there. It can get up to 40 degrees centigrade. That's no basically way. like gas smart one, isn't it? You could boil an egg in there. Oh, not again. I'm clutching two between my buttocks. <laughs> <laughs> As we try not to think about that image ever again, let's focus on the 3.5 million litres of mineral rich water drawn from depths of up to two and a half kilometres. Great for the skin, respiratory problems, and the gram. Oh, yes, Bill. That's the one. That's the one. Oh. This is nice, isn't it? Yes, it is. 
My favourite thing about this place there, it's got a bar. That's it. And Mummy's got a thirst. The tradition of bathing in geothermal water dates back to the 12th century. As do the clothes your mum wears. Not a fact, just a burn. Uh, hello. Hello. We've been hello. trapped out here for hours and we're really thirsty. Yeah. I'll have a... Yeah. Two of those, please. Two good... It's basically a giant bathtub with a bar in it. Yeah. It's Xanadu. Beer was banned in Iceland for most of the 20th century. Thank you very much. Tack. But now they're as messed up as the rest of us. I just did backstroke with a pint in my hand. Skull. Skull. Good health. See, this is very, very civilised. They seem to have sort of cracked it. Everyone's very quiet and respectful. There's no overt drunkenness or unpleasantness. Like, if he was in Birmingham. Skull. Margaret! Margaret, you want another one? Put a pizza on a lilo. Float it over. <laughs> By the time we finish our two-hour improv, the bath has cured my asthma. Tonight, 48 hours in Oslo. Over 2.5 mil a year nose down in the Norwegian capital, though most of those characters come in the summer. And helping literalise the metaphor of cold feet is professional pretender Faye Ripley, seen here describing some kind of living holiday hell. I like discos and a suntan. <laughs> This train literally stops near the top of Oslo's most popular toboggan run, which literally also has a stop at its bottom. Look, this is what it was like filming The Revenant. Hang on, didn't they climb inside a carcass? Leo climbed inside whatever he could. Leo will climb inside you to keep warm. <laughs> After a sadly deleted toboggan hiring scene, we screech into shots. Have you done this before? Well, Generally, anything that requires a helmet, I avoid. Are you prepared to mount up? Ready and willing. OK. Hang on. Where's, like, the inside lane? The Korkadrecken, or corkscrew, was built as a bobsleigh track for the unforgettable 1952 Winter Olympics. Bye, Richard. Okay. See you later, loser. That's oh, quite yeah. aggressive. Who's the tortoise and who's the hare? <laughs> With this timely shout-out to your boy Aesop, a thrilling narrative commences. A lot of screaming. Some sledges can reach speeds of 25 miles an hour, others can't. That's really fast! <laughs> and my coil just came out. I will not be overtaken by Richard. Whoa! <laughs> Fruity! That was almost Death Race 3000. I'm going to go right. Oh, this is very satisfying. Oh, don't you That's dare very me. satisfying. <laughs> oh. 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 That was the most fun I've actually ever had. Ever? That was better than my honeymoon. It's amazing. Your husband must have been delighted to hear that review. <laughs> my chin took a beating. A lot of spray yeah. on the chin. But and was... based on those yellow patches, some of that spray I did not want going in my mouth. No, that's true. As evening approaches, we head down to the sea in search of a little light exercise. I've got one more thing for us to do. Oh my God, what could it possibly be? There's no clues anywhere. This man's going to help us. Hello. Hello. Here for the feather boarding? Yes, we are. All right, perfect. In the last decade, stand-up paddleboarding has become well massive. In split, sunset and nighttime sessions on the super still Adriatic offer an insta-friendly way to learn. You can grab for the shaft. From the what? Buff-bodied Jake Gyllenhaal look-alike Ante takes us through the basics. How often do people fall off? Like 15% of 15. the time. And do I get a little rucksack here as well? Well, that's just for the emergency cases. What sort of emergencies are you expecting? Well... Shark. The most dangerous animal here is probably a seagull. Well, the most dangerous <laughs> animal of all is, of course, human man. As the sun dips, we slip into the water. <laughs> okay, so find the middle. Okay, and just do a couple of strokes. Then two stand-ups need to live up to their billing. Okay, that's good. All right, perfect, you're up. Let's see, Joe. Oh! <laughs> okay, 
You look very natural on the board. You're, Do I? You're talented. Oh my God, talented? <laughs> How do you feel, Ashling? I feel like a warrior. Yeah. Going backwards. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, guys. Oh. oh, no. No, no, no. Don't oh. hit me. It's okay, okay. it's okay. We're good. I'm passing by. As the fear subsides, I remind Ashling what a good time I'm showing her. I mean, look at that, Ashling. You can't ask for more than that. Oh. So nice to see that pharmacy reflected in the water. Okay, nice and safe and sound back on the beach. Park up here, Joe. Yay. Oh, I'm... oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I really thought we were going to be in the 15% of people who fell in and were never seen again. But mm. that was so relaxing and mm. zen, and I absolutely loved it. Joe and I weren't getting along at all before that. No. No, now I feel like we're, we're just barely getting on, but. Yeah, but it's just. It's an improvement. An improvement. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. We didn't fall in. But you know what? Mm. We did fall in love oh. with Jake Chillenhall. I wonder what they'll do now. Probably cut to a commercial break, I imagine. Don't go anywhere! Hello. Hello. Hi, bonjour. Je m'appelle Joe. Je m'appelle Camille. Je m'appelle Asim. Nice to meet my you, French Asim. Name. Asim. Welcome to Marseille and the Underwater Museum. Works of art lurk beneath the waves, but at 14 degrees, we're going to need to take precautions and rubber up. Where do we change? Down here? Blue and white cabins. Just Thank prepare you. yourself. Yes. You might be stunned yeah, by what you see. Yeah. <laughs> I am a, a married man, so just letting you know. All right. <laughs> As the whole of the French Riviera mutters a collective ooh la la, we're dressed for some kind of specialist club night and ready for our immersive experience. You look gorgeous. Thank you. I can't see anything. Just before we go swimming, yeah. we will need to spit in our mask, which is quite disgusting. Spit? But yeah. Oh. It's for the... Um, Stop it. Fog. Fog, OK. <laughs> Should we do each other's? See, no, Hello? we're not quite there yet. You're not there yet? OK. OK. okay. Rejected. The hat. Oh. And my hat? I'm sorry for you. Yeah. You look like my mum. Ready? Yeah. Let's go swimming. We take like the proverbial ducks and aim for the boy, marking the location where ten exhibits have been submerged. So, uh, we're going to see the first uh, sculpture. Ooh! Ooh. <laughs> so, mask on. First up, it's the Nereids by Marseille sculptor Evelyn Galinsky, adorned with marine flora and fauna after 18 months in the Med. Woo! They are beautiful. Wow. <laughs> Five little girls that are supposed to hold life and love it. But... We have something like that. They're called um, Little Mix. <laughs> <laughs> The sculptures are made out of recycled marine cement, which I have to say of all the cements has long been my favourite. It has a neutral pH and helps to create an artificial reef that acts as a home for marine wildlife. That's a big urchin. Yeah. Uh, it is very fragile, so I think the artist wanted us to know that life is precious and we really have to hold it with uh, tenderness. After a quick gawp at Benoit de Souza's sea monkeys, we're only prevented from visiting the underwater gift shop by a tight schedule and the fact it doesn't exist. Oh! That is wow. stunning. Do you think this will catch on in the UK, Asin? I think so. I'm trying to think of what other things can be underwater. A Greg's? Let's launch it. Camille, you're down? Have you got 30 grand to invest in it? Yeah. I will. Okay, she's in. Okay, she's I'll, in. I'll give Deborah Meadron a ring and we'll be sorted. Marseille's rich cultural palette boasts something for everyone. And then there's skateboarding. Look, Hassan, this is cool. It's the skate park du Prado. Radical, bro. One of the most famous skate parks in the world. As I'm sure you're well aware, this sick bowl, do they call them that? Appears in digital form in the video game Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. It's thus turned Marseille into a mecca for skateboarding. To master the art and create some much-needed jeopardy, we head to the nearest innovative cultural hub set within an old tobacco factory, where I've signed us up for a lesson with this dude. 
This man's going to teach us to skate, I believe. Wow. What's up, guys? Hello, Hello. I'm Joe. My name is Tom. It's nice to meet you here. Before ollieing on the half pipes, I don't know what I'm talking about. We tog up. You're going to be safe. I believe you. And limber up. Continue to bend your knees a little bit, because so. it's really the, the most important thing, to my opinion. We are not 15 years old, and you know we what don't have to. Uh... I'm a young 17-year-old radical skateboarder. Yeah. Nice. Actually, I probably shouldn't say radical, should I? The way I look. And parents don't understand nothing about my life. <laughs> I know you're gonna dance a little bit. Oh yeah, oh, come on, Joe. Okay. Wind the batty. <laughs> okay, I'll wind the batty. Wind it. We're just on the point of creating an exciting new line dance when Thomas brings us down to earth. So this is for you. Thank you. And this is for you. Merci. We attempt to overcome our fear, but not our natural incompetence. Tony Hawk over So that's here. it, we're done? Thank you. With a slick start <laughs> and a smooth dismount. Oh, hello. Yeah. Like Spider-Man. Yeah, I think about Spider-Man. Okay. It's what I do with kids always. Yeah. Come in my arms. You see? Oh, uh, I mean, you only have to ask me once. The more space you got between your foot, the better it will be. Think about the Tour Eiffel, OK? Mm. Well, you know, Tour Eiffel is like this, Eiffel Tower. So oh, Eiffel Tower. You know. Feeling more Pisa than Eiffel. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> Thomas reassures us with universal memes. This is radical to fall. I'm on commission as well. I get every time I fall, I get more money. That's the most important thing is that you believe in yourself. Yeah! And we'll be kick flipping like crazy in no time. Okay, like this, so now. Literally not doing anything. Avril Lavigne just called, she's ready. Before we further astound Thomas with our six skills. Oh no, I didn't want to go that fast. Asim wisely makes this suggestion. Can I can you teach me how to do you know that thing where um they do that and they lift it up? Ah yeah. I reckon if I can do just that, it looks like I can skate. I can walk <laughs> into a skate park and be like, yo, Wagwan boys, what are you saying? And then So how do you do it? So, you have to protect your... Yeah! yeah. Whoa. Whoa. All right, let me try. Knowing my luck, it's going to smash me in the face. Wait, wait. Ah! See? <laughs> yep. Yeah. Not even clever editing can save Asim now, so Thomas calls time. So, guys, I think it's going to be the end of the lesson. Aww. OK? It was perfect. One of the best lessons ever I had. Are you just you saying that because of the cameras or? Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. Yeah, kind of. Feeling nurtured, we say abianto and freestyle towards the end of part one. Bye, Thomas. Bye, Thomas. Bye, bye. I love you. Sorry for butchering your score. Oh, oh. oh shh. It's time for all good skaters to go to bed. Obviously, Asim and I get to stay up a bit later. Tonight, a mythically minute break in Athens, through which poor five and a half mil dudes purr an, aching for the ancient. Oh. Joining me in this Apollonian endeavor is the Dionysian Dawn French. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, yes. No. Please don't make me this do that. This person pretending Please to feel alive. Please don't make me do it. Hello. 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 Welcome. Thank you. I'm going to try to give you the spirit of the Olympians. OK. Right, OK, huh? OK. Uh, yeah, okay. Fine. So what I want from you yes. is just to prepare a little bit your shoulders. Over two savage hours. Yes, okay. miss. For ice okay. cream. <laughs> Tonya takes us through ancient sporting <laughs> disciplines. <laughs> Ow! While seeking to quell her awe of our prowess. You're very powerful. I was a Cornish okay. dumpling. <laughs> You know, in the ancient games, women didn't allow to compete. I mean, I would have been a slave in the ancient world, so I wouldn't have been there Yeah, either. and I would have been a woman. We conquer the components of the pentathlon, starting with javelin. Go! <laughs> <laughs> then discus, which folk have flung since the 8th CBC. Three and release! Nice! Before shouldering the shot put, which first appeared at the modern Olympics in 1896. Put it here, between yeah. your clavicle and your neck. I haven't got a neck. But anyway, OK, OK. Dawn, can you yeah. stop fishing for what? OK, let's try to find your neck. <laughs> Open your arm. OK. Jazz hands. Ready? Go! Woo! Bravo! Yet again, I'm the winner. Yeah. <laughs> Pumped and primed, we stride to the Panathenaic Stadium. OK, wow. It used to be the ancient stadium of Athens. And uh, in 1896, they reconstruct this stadium from white marble, specifically for the revival of the first Olympic Games. 
Do Olympians go this slowly? <laughs> I would run if I didn't have such floppy bosoms. As I make a mental note to buy some more eco-friendly countertop spray, we head to the winner's podium. In the ancient games, there was only one victor, so we share top billing. Now, I'm an Olympian now. Okay. Bravo. Yeah, thank you very much. Yes, thank you. The most important thing is not the winning, it's yeah. taking part. Is You're it? Part really? Is it? Now. Do you have a victory pose? <laughs> Try, just go down there for a second. So yes, somehow suddenly that feels better. <laughs> what you now watch is distilled from a two-hour festival of self-congratulation. That feels right, doesn't it, Richard? This week I'm in Dublin with a very funny, hilarious Mawan Rizwan. In Dublin's fair city, where Mawan Rizwan and I, Joe Lysett, are so pretty, you rejoin us as we head for a bracing morning dip at 40 foot, a spot immortalised by top Irish novel writing lad James Joyce in his chiclet classic Ulysses. Haven't read it, there's probably a movie. Oh, this looks nice, doesn't it? I feel a bit dramatic in these, though. Dramatic? Yeah, look at those people just getting in naked because they're creatures of the earth. Yes, but we're celebrities. In the book, Joyce calls the sea here snot green and, more alarmingly, scrotum tightening. Well, how does this make you feel? Cold. Yeah. But I'd do it. My partner gave me really good advice. Yeah. He said, don't think about the cold, think about the sensation. Which is cold. Cold, yes. Yeah. But just zone in on, oh, that's tingly. During the pandemic, the world went wild swimming crazy, with various lunatics saying it boosts immunity, improves circulation, and even lifts the libido. We bear our flesh for the shortest possible swim our contracts will allow. I'm just going in, I'm just going in. Ah! Ah! Yes! Ah! Ah! Are you feeling warmer? Yeah. That's me, Queen. My scrotum has very much gone inside. I'm ready to leave now! To be honest, it just reminds me of when some Villa fans threw me into the canal. I'm Ooh. just so impressed with all these people just getting in. Just being really chill about look it. Look at her, look at her. She's got her sunglasses on. The sun is not out, mate. No. It's like, sunshine is a state of mind, I guess. But I think that's, that's the coldest sea I've ever been in. <laughs> I sound more vulnerable than I am. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is too much nature. <laughs> I hate you, man. <laughs> 